played Nicole. Uh, Nicole is um, Dave Bautista's. Well, that's not. He's not playing himself, but I play his daughter in the movie. Um, and she's an artist, and she doesn't get along with her dad super well because they kind of butt heads. They're both sort of uh, stubborn and uh, and insistent that they are right. So it's a it's it's an interesting dynamic between the two of them, and um, and it's a really fun part to play. And I played Becca, who is Stu's uh, friend from college. And they had one crazy night once in the past that Becca doesn't even remember. She totally remembers, and she's stringing him along, I think. Um, but they're best friends, and they're about to open a spin studio together that uh, has woke themes to the spin studio mm -hmm. in a twist. Spinster, I loved the yeah. name. Yeah, <laughs> and Becca believes that that's what the movie's about, Spinster, mm -hmm. but it's it's not. <laughs> um, and then how alike or dislike would you say you're, you are to your characters? Um, I think I'm somewhat similar to her. I do like to put people in their place. That is a favorite pastime of mine. Um, I'm so scared. Well, I'll cry if you do. You're in me. a good place. <laughs> okay. I hope you in the good. And that's a good and bad thing. That's like you know, I can lift people up or really drag people down. <laughs> it depends where your place is. Great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I have that in common with her. Um, but I think she's she's a she's a little tougher than I am in a lot of ways, and a little bit more hard edged because of uh, her upbringing with her father, who is who you see in this movie. Um, I would say I'm not really like my character, um, unlike Natalie, I'm a human apology, so <laughs> I, <laughs> confrontation terrifies me. I would say Becca is pro-confrontation, although they, they never have had the talk about their friendship, so maybe True. maybe we are similar. Um, but I would say she's a little crazier than I am, and hopefully she's a little more annoying than I am. I, I have my own ways of being annoying. I mean, she loves wine, so I respect that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't hold my liquor, so we have that in common, I guess. There you go. And then how was the making of the film? It was really fun. It was very hot. It was mostly in Atlanta. Um, there was a few flash storms. There's one scene in the movie where we had to shoot just from behind me because I, from the walk to the trailer to the set, it rained, <laughs> and all of the makeup on my face washed off, and we didn't have time to redo it. Whoa. So they just shot it from behind me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Great. Yeah. It was really crazy. It was quite the weather what situation. Uh, the end. Whoa. Yes, I know. <laughs> Pivotal scene. Yeah. Very pivotal. Well, that's great. Yeah. And then, lastly, how do you think this movie can really appeal to female moviegoers? I mean, I know I. That's a great question. It. Yeah. Um, well, Betty Gilpin's in it. Um, she's really great. I don't know if you've seen her in a show in called Glow. Her nurse Jackie. She's fantastic. Um, and I also, I also think that it's not, despite the trailers, it's not just about the dudes. <laughs> It's really about all the people in their lives, yeah. Yeah, and it's sort of like a love letter and a parody to do dumb. Like, yeah. it, it is, you're laughing at them and then you're laughing with them and rooting for them. And uh, as a woman, I really appreciated that. And I think it touches on some uh, themes of masculinity and femininity that I haven't seen in a big studio movie before, mm -hmm. but I really appreciate it. Couldn't agree more. Well, thank you both thank for your you. time. Thanks.